And I was like, oh, God just told me that. Huh? Did she? Did she who? Did she cry? No, she felt she felt convicted because she put her head down and she told me, um, yeah, it's about everything. I know the Lord wants me to do this on YouTube and do that. And I told her straight up and forth, since you want that friend that's blunt. I said, I'm going to tell you now whether you do this with me. This is still my baby. This is still what God blessed me with. And I'm going to do it with or without you. And I just want to let you know that. And even when I told her that she was like, oh, I have to get to the back and do this for the pastor. I have to do this. And the Holy Spirit says she's chasing church. She's not chasing me. And I don't want you to get wrapped up in that. So when I told you I was talking to God, like, I know I'm blessed and gifted, but I don't want to do no ministry. And God said, I didn't send you to do ministry right now. You have a different ministry for me. And I was like, oh, I don't feel convicted. Yeah. Ministry ain't always in the church, man. Yeah, man. Hey, this is like the second time you done said that, like, I talked to I listened or I gave it to God. And I didn't feel convicted. That means I'm doing the right thing. Yo, I love yeah, that. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I love it. I, love I be it. like, <laughs> yo, cause yo, like that's that's what that's spirit growth because, like, I used to have a saying, I ain't doing nothing unless God in it, right? Come on, but man. Sometimes it was like I would had a mindset. I'll say a prayer and just wrote and go do it, thinking, you know, Lord, I prayed about it, I gave it to you, but I'm gonna go act on it. Mm. But no, like, if I ask God to order my steps, I got to wait for him to show me. Yeah. The steps are already ordered, but I got to wait for him to light the path for me. You know what I'm saying? Show me the way. I can't pray and just roll out. No, it don't work like that. So the fact that you wait, you, 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 you ask, you receive, and then you go. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I love that. Oh my gosh. That's not true. Because when you, and I know people be like 32 is young, but I'm really over here like, boy, I'm almost to the mid thirties and I still ain't married with no kid. I be thinking crazy stuff. Like Lord, the eggs start decreasing at 30, about like three years. I'm, I'm telling you, but with all of that experience and stuff, it's just like, you tried it on your own before. Did it yeah. work? Yeah. Did it work? Yo, that's crazy. Like I got, I have some, some older, some female friends that are like, upper thirties, 40, like 40, I think. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna say from like 38 to 42, single, uh -huh. single, no kids, great careers. And they, they, they want to be married. They want the family. And I'm just like, they say that they have relationships and God. And, and I'm gonna tell you the one question It's it's only like, I'm gonna say like maybe about five, six, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. I ask them all the same question. Let me hear it. All right. You asking God for this family and you're trusting him for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all say, yeah. I said, what if he doesn't deliver? What if, what if he doesn't bless you with a family, a husband, children? And then I, and they looking at me crazy or like if we're on the phone, they go silent. And then like, I'll say, will you, would that waver your faith? Will you stop trusting God? Hmm. A couple of them just didn't have an answer. I don't know. Some, a couple of them said, yeah, it'll probably waver my faith. I won't tr have that much trust in him. And I'm like, there's your answer. You got to be good with what God, if you're going to trust God, you got to be good with what he has for you. Yeah. You know? Because what you're saying is I only trust him to deliver what I want. So like mm -hmm. God is your genie and not your Lord and Savior. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, come through. That is crazy you said that. Yeah. I was talking to somebody and I said, if the Lord, I know the Lord told me he does have a husband for me. But yeah. I did tell somebody, if the Lord doesn't give him to me, it's still yes and amen. I literally said, had this conversation last week. Because yeah. I'm already at the point now I'm complacent with being alone. I just had to be complacent with no sex, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had this conversation last week. So and, I hope they get on board with trusting God, though, because his will is always better than ours. Absolutely. And, and that's the thing. The one thing they all had in common was they all were trying to do it on their own. They were serial daters. Then they said, oh, I'm taking a break from dating. I'm taking a break from dating. Oh, I'm doing, oh, my friend, oh, I'm doing this. I'm going out with my friend. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And I'm like, yo, where's your room for God? Where's your relationship with God? Like, oh, I go to church. 
Okay, that's fine. But do you spend time with him? Do you know his voice when he talks to you? If he, if God right now were to tell you, the man walking down the, pro, the man walking down the uh, frozen food aisle, is your husband? Go speak to him. Go say hello to him. Would you hear him? Mm, come on now, miss out on your blessing because you can't hear the Lord's voice. Because you don't, you don't know his voice, and the only way you know his voice is by spending time with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. look, or look, I'm gonna say this. I don't know how much time we got, but listen, I'm gonna say this. I asked this this one girl. She's like one of my one of my good friends. I asked her. I said, "Um, actually, do you know God's voice?" And she was like, eh, "I don't know. How are you supposed to know God's voice?" So I asked her. I said, "Yo, you know your." I said, "If we were out at the mall and your mom yelled your voice, would you know her voice? I mean, your mom your mom yelled your name. Mm -hmm. Would you know it's her calling you?" She said, "Yeah." I said, "Why?" She said, "That's my mother." I said, "But why is her voice so much more distinct than anybody?" else's because i've been around her for such a long time Ooh. i just said aha and she said what i said why do you know your mother's voice because i've been around and she just stopped she's got quiet mm -hmm. <laughs> got quiet so how much time is she spending with jesus honey <laughs> yeah man like relationship is important. Relationship is very important. Like you got to be able to hear God's voice, recognize his voice so that he can guide you. That's why I like, I'm so like, it warmed my heart when you were like, all right, I prayed about it. I talked to God about it. Like pops with up, da, 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 da. And you waited for a response. And you were like, all right, when he gave you the response, he's like, oh, I wasn't convicted. Yo, that's, yo, I swear that took me out. Like that's so okay. Because <laughs> you know when you have different gifts, you feel like you're supposed to utilize them. Yeah, I, I'm supposed to be on a praise team. I'm supposed to be in a dance ministry. I'm supposed to be, you know, making flyers and stuff. But I'm supposed to because I have the gift. And God said, I didn't tell you to do nothing. Yeah. He, now, did he order my steps to the church? Yeah, because when you're on a different spiritual level, I was, you know, I'm like you try restaurants. I'm trying churches. Are you feeding me spiritually? Because the level I was on at 29, I'm not only that 32. Right. So certain pastors, they were okay, but I was still walking out the way I was coming in. And when I went to my pastor's church on, i never forget, Father's Day, Holy Spirit was like, you joining? But I thought it was my mind. I was like, mm, I'm confused on who said it, but we're going to yeah. wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, I don't know who, said, who just said that, who just said it, Lord. But uh, went back again, spoke again. The same pastor that prophesied it, I see a bestseller, and nobody knew that for years I was contemplating the stuff I've been through. I need to write a book. I was seriously contemplating it. He said, I see a ministry blowing up on social media. I see numbers grow. This man was prophesied. You couldn't tell me. But it wasn't just that. Even when I was homeless, the sermons and how specific he was and what he was saying not knowing it was for me he was just being obedient saying yeah. I don't know who this is for but it was for me every day I go to church and sometimes when you go to church you're not really gonna get that crazy yeah, yeah. moment but yeah. I know with Bishop Paramore I'm always gonna get it but even with my pastor even with Bible study I get it Yes, and I was like oh okay Lord that was you I was tripping okay I'm gonna join and I joined yeah. And they love me for who I am. They know I'm a special case. <laughs> she don't talk to nobody. She ain't join no ministry. And one day I'm going to tell them the Lord told me it, it ain't for me right now. Yeah. I'm tell them one day. But yeah. you, got, you got to hear his voice to order your steps, man. That's facts. That's facts. Yeah, man. And it's been, this has been fun, man. That I definitely enjoyed this conversation, man. And I really hope that it blesses somebody. If it blesses one, at least one person, I think we did our job today. Period. I, listen, I don't care about the numbers. It's about the message. I don't care if it don't blow. I don't care if I get 300 views every day instead of 3,000, 3 million. I'm good. It's all good. The right, like, th and this is the crazy thing about social media, man. The right person going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's going to, like, whoever it's for, they're going to receive it. So, yeah, man, like, shout outs to you. Love you to death. Proud of you, sis. This platform is amazing. Make sure y'all tune in, man. Stay, stay with my sis. Stay with them more, man. Keep keep loving on her, y'all.
Oh, I love you, bro. We got many more to do, so I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you. Love you, girl. I'll let you later. All right. Bye.